Healthy Life Magazine presents an inside look at stand-up paddleboarding. Hi, I'm Kim from Down Under, and I'm here to talk to you today about the sport of stand-up paddleboarding. Stand-up paddling is something that's been done for centuries, but it's just really become popular in the last 20, 20, 30 years or so. It's really popular just as a form of exercise and getting out on the water and having some fun. It's also popular because it's very easy. That's what we're here to do today, is to show you just how easy it is and how you can use it for a fitness workout. So this is a paddleboard in front of me. It resembles a surfboard. It's longer and it's wider, which is why when I say it's easy, it really is easy. To get on a paddleboard from a stance like this, put your hands on both sides of the board so it's stable. Bring one knee on and then the other until you're in a kneeling position. You come up into a standing position like so. Pick up your paddle to balance you and you're up. This is my paddle. The paddle is a little bit different to um, a regular paddle. The blade actually faces away from you. You can see the angle on it. The blade faces away from you. Stand up paddle faces away from you, and because you're standing up and you're so tall and away from the water, you're using it to push against the water. So it's very different to uh, kayaking. When I stand with the paddle, it's nice and straight like this. My arm is fully extended. The paddle goes in at the top of the board. I pull it just past my hips and cut it out of the water. When I've recovered it, it's ready to go back in again. What I'd like to do is introduce you to, uh, to Patty, who is one of my managers here, and she's a stand-up paddleboard yoga fitness instructor. All right, Patty, what poses would you like to show us? Uh-huh. Well, I was just saying, I was just mentioning that uh, being on a board like this, particularly this size of board, is like being on a big, giant, floating yoga mat. So it's actually not as extreme <laughs> as it might sound. I'll just show you a, an easy... Um, downward facing dog and maybe it's an easy flow series that's sort of similar to a salutation. When you're doing yoga on a board, as long as you're balanced, you'll be fine. When Patty lifts the leg up off board like that, she's not quite as balanced, so that as opposed to be a little bit more advanced for some people. So what people really want to know is what happens when you fall in. What's important about falling in, you usually know it's going to happen, you're losing your balance, right? You want to fall away from the board so that you don't hit it. And you also want to hold on to your paddle so that you don't lose it. I think I'm falling in. 